Imish, thanks for coming on today. Thank you. Well, many customers are increasingly demanding that companies recognise them every time they have an interaction, regardless of which channel that interaction took place. Intent-based solutions are all about using technology to understand customer interactions and predict their behaviour. NICE systems help build this technology. They say each interaction with a customer has a decisive moment that you need to win. I caught up with their managing director, Glenn Parker, to find out more. Yeah, the, the decisive moment is really um, something that's relatively new in the Australian market. You know, a lot of call centres today uh, use our call recording solutions. Um, but then they're not actually leveraging a lot of the big data and analytics capabilities that, that are available in the market today to really impact the conversations that they're having with customers. So the decisive moment is really about the, the point when you have the customer's attention either in a service call, in a branch, and leveraging cues that, that occur in that call at that point in time to provide you know, better out, outcomes for that customer based on what the organisation is doing. But surely this idea of the customer experience and delighting the customer and the decisive moment, that's all been around for many years with CRM. Isn't it simply a case that many companies know what they have to do, but they haven't just been able to do it? Uh, I think to a large extent. So you've got CRM, the concept of it is to have a single customer view. A lot of organisations have effectively built that, but in an offline world. And what I mean by that is that they failed to get that data to the customer touch points when it's needed. And beyond that is to actually interact with customers at that point of that transaction. So an example is when I'm ringing up on a call center regarding my banking situation. There's clues that I give you in that call that, that currently are lost. So there's that point of interaction that you know, the CRM system isn't prepared for or isn't ready for that interaction. But with a lot of the nice and let interaction analytics systems we can based on recording that call we can actually pick out keywords that then drive the next best action for that operator to potentially identify a potential opportunity for the customer or help satisfy that customer in another way so it takes it takes the CRM concept to the next to the next step but aren't your front office systems only as good as your back office systems do you find that many organizations have customer data scattered in different locations. How important is it for these companies to have the right infrastructure in place before they actually invest in NICE technologies or does your solution do that all for them? So that's the beauty of NICE is that you don't have to have that as a prerequisite. Uh, certainly it's beneficial if you can leverage the, the data that you know about your customers to help drive the decisions but we have customers that don't rely on, on their CRM systems to drive a lot of the analytics. Um, that are at that point of interaction. And, and it could be around things like uh, complaints, uh, customer dissatisfaction, and being able to assess uh, what are the root causes of that or you know, how to escalate that call or deal with that dissatisfaction right at that, right at that point rather than letting that client go off the line um, and then potentially not following through. So you can, you can isolate the touch points with, across multiple channels with, with nice solutions. Um, so obviously it doesn't depend on having a CRM system in place, but enhances it. I hear a lot about this idea of big data and the transforming effect it's having on business. How is big data changing the customer experience? Or is it simply something that's always been around? We just have a lot more data today. I think the big data has always been there, so it's not new. Um, I think the, one of the things that yeah, NICE notices is that we've always over the 25 years of our global history have worked with unstructured data. So we've, we're very good at taking analytics of cameras, um, phone calls, voice, so all of that's unstructured. Most of the big data, uh, you know, SQL databases and data warehouses are around structured data. 80% of the data is unstructured in today's transactions. So what NICE brings to the party has been able to, to merge the structured data and the unstructured data to create opportunities to impact the customer conversations and that, that's how we play. Can you give some examples of particular companies here in Australia that have benefited in a, in a tangible way from using the NICE technologies? Yeah, I think the, um, it's, all of this is ROI driven. So organisations look at analytics and are looking for a, a return on investment and 
could be linked to customer satisfaction. In many cases, we see a lot of the analytics uh, being adopted to help drive a relationship between the customer satisfaction process and the agent. So given that still over 70% of interactions occur on the call center or web, um, NICE is able to pull all these different channels together to get a view on you know, what the sequence is of that customer in terms of transacting with an organization. What are the touch points? If there's human touch points there, um, then map customer satisfaction or dissatisfaction back to the agents. So we kind of close the whole loop in terms of the feedback side. In terms of real customer usage today, uh, probably the, one of the best examples is in the telecommunications sector, where we have a number of customers uh, in that sector currently using our technology. One example is where they're using it to uh, get the customer feedback close the loop to help drive net promoter score within their organization that improves customer satisfaction. So over a period of using our products, they've increased customer satisfaction by 3%. Um, another adopter in the telco space is yeah, very early in the, res in the results, um, but using it to identify the keywords for dissatisfaction uh, or competitor information or customers that are churning so they can then identify what are the reasons for churn and then put strategies in place to, to manage it. And that was Glenn.